Hello all and welcome back to the channel. This is Ketul Patel and today we are going to see that how we can create a sign up form and store that view in SQL database using Android Studio. So let's start a tutorial without wasting time. So first of all uh, we will go to our SQL Server Management Studio so I am using SQL Server 2014. Now uh, let's create a table. So let's create user ID, give it as an SML and make it as a primary key. And what we will do is we will auto increment this. And just expand this and change it to yes so it will be auto incremented by one now name that, that is a valkyrie email that is also valkyrie and password valkyrie So let's name this register. So we have created our database. Now what we will do is in our Android Studio first we will create the activity for registration. So go to create activity, activity and name it as register activity. So for this video, I'm going to create it as a launcher activity because uh, first we'll create a sign up page and then in the next video, I'll show you how to create a login page with the information that we have stored in our database using this sign up page. So click on finish. So our uh, registration uh, activities, register activities created. Now, first of all, uh, go to your manifest file android manifest and ask for permission we will define a permission that is use permission for the internet so we will define this permission mm -hmm. then. so uh, now we will need a uh, connection properties so that we can connect to our SQL server so for that uh, we will need our IP address of the SQL Server username, password, and database. So rather than to write it in all of your Java classes, uh, it's better to create a package and then uh, write the connection properties over there and then use it in app, your project. So for that, uh, right click over here and create a package and name it as a connection. And now right new and create a java class so name it as con connection connection class and click on ok so now here uh, we will create three uh, we will create our four variables that we are going to need that is our IP address that is the host name then the username of your SQL server the password of your SQL server and the database which you are going to access so public static string so first one will be IP address so provide your IP address over here of your SQL server the next will be public static string and username so the username of your SQL server and public static string password of your SQL server and the last one is public static string db so that is the database of your which you, which you want to access 
so uh, in my case if the username is youtube password is youtube and the database is youtube and the host name uh, you have to provide which you are using now as our connection class is created now we will go to our activity register.xml and first of all we will convert this to a linear layout so if you have already created your layout file then you can just see the uh, code and skip the video to the code let me first the orientation so let's give it vertical So I have created the edit text for the name so it will be same for our email so just change the ID and the hint and we can provide another property that is Android input type so it will be text email address and the last one which is the password so change the id and give it password change the hint and password and again adding another property so that is android input type is equal to so we will create a text password after creating these three buttons uh, these three edit text now we will create a button so which will be match parent and repentant Android text will be register and we will create a ID for it. just a bit here so as you can see that we have created a simple name email address and password as a well, text fields and register button over here so now we'll go to our register activity dot java and over here we will write our backend code So first of all, uh, we will get our user input variables that is edit text, so name, email and password and the button that is The button that is register key. Now we will need a connection class, so connection variables, so connection com, and we will need a prepared statement. Now in our on create method we will write name is equal to cast with edit text find view by id or dot id dot name then is equal to edit text 
find view by id or dot id dot email same for the password password is equal to edit text find view by id or dot id dot password button is equal to button find view by id or dot id dot registered button it will be registered button now after this we will create a on click event for the registered button so that is a registered button dot set click listener new view on click listener I keep it blank for now and now what we will do is first of all we will create and we will get the connection to our database so we will create a function for that so at the rate suppressed length and new PI it will be public connection class and with and pass string username comma string password password comma string database comma string server Now, strict mode dot trade policy. Let's name it policy is equal to new strict mode dot trade policy dot builder dot permit all. And we will build it, not build. Now, strict mode dot set red policy, and we will assign our policy over here. Now, connection is equal to null, and string connection. URL is equal to null. Now create a type try catch block. In try block, we will write class dot for me and we will pass over SQL connections driver over here so that is our jdbc driver dot net dot source box dot gtds dot jdbc dot driver and we will create a connection url so connection url is equal to that is JDBC JDBS SQL Server plus slash plus now we will pass our server over here then 
push then we will pass our database semicolon we will pass our user so we will pass our user over here as equal to user then semicolon and then we will pass our password is equal to our password variable then plus and semicolon and then we will write in the description so now uh, we will put connection is equal to driver manager dot get connection so we will get our connection to this connection url to our sql server and in catch block we will log dot e and I SQL connection error and e dot e get message and after our catch block we will return our connection so return connection so this was how you can and this is where you will get the connection to our sql server using jdbc driver so after creating this now we will write our logic to uh, register our user so we will write our SQL query and enter the data to the class. So for this we will create a class, a public class. Let's name as register user. And we will extend it with async task. Will be string from a string string. Uh, so for this, we have to implement all the methods. So click on Alt or Shift Enter and click Implement Method. So click on OK. So it will create a do in background uh, method for us. So first, let's let string z. So we will return our uh, z variable at the end of the class. So it will define whether the connection is successful, the connection is not successful, you have successfully registered or you have not, uh, there is an error. So we will define all that. Now create a boolean variable is success. So we will check. So first of all, we will uh, assigned with a false to it so now we will add two new method to add, that is click on control o and pre-execute and post-execute method so for this uh, go to our activity register class and after this button let's create a text view that will show the status after clicking on the register button so name it as a status and then enter text size is equal to let's say 25 dp and android margin top 
20 dp and let's create a default let's assign a default text to it so it will be text uh, register and we will change accordingly to our status so now uh, what in our pre-execute we will do first of all we will get the variable so the text view status here we will write status is equal to text view r dot id dot status now here on pre-execute what we will do is uh, status dot set text and we will write sending data to database and in post execution we will do status dot set text and we will write registration successful and we can do is uh, name dot set text and email dot set text and password dot set text so it will clear out the phrase of your name email and password now in the do in background method first of all uh, the return null will be written z so we will return our status as a form in form of z so let's create a try catch block so in try block we will do is con is equal to connection class so that is connection class so this connection class is the bottom one which we have created to connect to our SQL server using JDBC driver and then here we have to pass as you can see that we have to pass username password database and server so first of we will pass the username so that we will get from this connection class over here which we have created in the starting of the video so here we will pass first the username so type the class name that is connection class dot u name then we will pass connection class dot our password so to string then we will pass connection class dot our database so that is our db dot to string and then at last we will pass connection class dot our ip address so that is the host name dot to string so we have got all the four uh, properties from for the connection class from our connection class and then now what we will do is we will check if con is equal to equal to null so if we do not get any of these properties in our connection class then in z we will write check 
your internet connection because we are not getting any of this in our connection and if we get the connection properly then in else we will first create a query uh, our sql query so that is string sql is equal to insert into register comma now we will pass our name email and password and then we will pass our values to that column in the table so first is name dot get text comma we will pass our email address so that email dot get text and we will pass last our password so password dot get text now our query is completed now what we will do is our statement variable so that is this one but we do not have the prepared statement so we need only the statement one so now after our query that statement dot statement equal to con dot con dot create statement and now we write statement dot execute update and pass our SQL query over here and uh, we are pretty much completed with our doing background part and in the ex uh, catch exception we will write is access is equal to false false and z is equal to e dot get message and at that point we are returning the z variable over here so now uh, let's run before running this code uh, we have to go to our register button dot set on click listener that we have created and now we have to do new we have to call this public class register user which we have created and register activity dot register user class dot execute and semicolon so we have created our whole program now let's run this and test whether this is working and if we get any error we will solve it so let's run this project so as you can see we have three uh, input field over here that is name email and password our registered button and our status text view over here so now we will enter the name then So now let's click on register button so you can see that the status change to sending text sending data to the end we have got registration successful and we cleared all this field now let's check our database so right click on do register our register table and select top 100 row
and you can see that uh, we are getting our data from our Android to our SQL server successfully. So this was the video how you can uh, make a registration page or you can make any other form and send the data from Android Studio to our SQL server. So if you are getting error in any of this process just comment down below and if you want this source code I have the link in description you can visit there and you can check the code over there. And if this was all about the video, if you like the video, press like button, subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more of the videos. Thank you for watching.